Assalamu alaikum students, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to your science lecture. So take out your science books and copies and booklets too as we have completed the topics of chapter number two, the animal world. Today we will do additional question answers from your booklet. So open your booklets. The question number one which we will today is what is water made from? Yani ki jo water hai wo kin cheezo se mil kar bana hai? Answer, water is made up of two chemicals and these are hydrogen and oxygen. So the chemical name for water is H2O. That means two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen is present in water which stands for two units of hydrogen and one unit of oxygen. So water is made up of two chemicals, hydrogen and oxygen. The chemical name for water is H2O which stands for two units of hydrogen and one unit of oxygen. Next additional question uh, given in your booklets is which animals take advantage of losing energy? Any aise kaun se animals hain jo lose uh, energy lose karne ka advantage lete hain, fayda lete hain? At every stage of the food chain, some energy is lost. As you know, the food chain, uh, food chain has different steps present. Hote hai. For example, sabse pehle hai producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. So, kya ho raha hai? Jo her organism, her energy level hai, aista aista dusre ke energy ko consume kar raha hai. So, at every uh, stage of food chain, some energy is lost. Yani ki kuch energy kya hogi? Lost hogi. Yani ki remove hoti jayegi food chain mein se. That is why the animals near the end of the food chain have to eat more food than those at the beginning of the food chain. So, is the reason that the animals end pe present in the food chain, ke, for example, tertiary consumers, they need more energy, more food, more food, so that they can regain their energy ko apni se regain kar sake. Now, question number three is, what do animals give plants in return? In ke, jo animals, hai, as you know, jo animals hai, wo plants ko खाते हैं और उनसे फायदा क्या हासिल करते हैं न्यूट्रिशन यानी कि एनर्जी हासिल करते हैं सो so, प्लांट्स को उसका फायदा क्या होता है बदले में व्हेन एनिमल्स गेट देयर ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स देन एनिमल्स गिव बैक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू प्लांट्स सो बेसिकली देयर आर टू प्रोसेसेस नेचुरल प्रोसेसेस फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन फोटोसिंथेसिस इज अ प्रोसेस इन व्हिच प्लांट्स यूज सनलाइट एंड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर दे प्रोड्यूस ऑक्सीजन गैस which is then used by humans and animals to survive. So in return, the animals or humans, hai, what we will, uh, they will do? They release carbon dioxide. Inke jo carbon dioxide hai, usko apni body se bahir nikalenge aur ultimately, jo plants honge, wo us carbon dioxide ko use karenge, apne aap ko grow karne ke liye, apni nutrition ke liye. So animals produce carbon dioxide. Plants need carbon dioxide in the same way that animals need oxygen. यानी कि जिस तरह से प्लांट्स को कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड चाहिए होती है उसी तरह से एनिमल्स को ऑक्सीजन चाहिए होती है जिंदा रहने के लिए एज लॉन्ग एज देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स लिविंग क्लोज टुगेदर देयर इज इनफ ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ होल साइकिल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन ये प्रोसेस कब चलता रहता है जब लॉट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स आपस में एक एनवायरनमेंट में exist karte hain aur kya karte hain oxygen aur carbon dioxide ko exchange karte hain so what do animals give plants in return when animals get their oxygen from plants then animals give back carbon dioxide to plants give back yani ki wapas karna animals produce carbon dioxide inke animals kya banate hain carbon dioxide plants need carbon dioxide in the same way that animals need oxygen as long as there are lots of animals and plants living close together there is enough oxygen and carbon dioxide okay so that's all now what you have to do your homework is that you have to learn these three additional question answers from your booklet now that's all for today until next class allah for students and take care